Welcome to Garden Plants with Jim Putnam. Let's talk Mountain Snow Pieris. This is Mountain Snow Pieris from the Southern Living Plant Collection. This one was selected for its heat tolerance. And here we are down in uh, zone 7B in a very hot and uh, dry space. And this one is performing uh, really quite beautifully in the landscape. This is a evergreen shrub that really has 12 months of interest. It has uh, these beautiful uh, white fragrant flowers on it, which you can see now here in February, you know, typically late winter uh, into early spring. Then it gets this wonderful kind of burgundy reddish new growth on it anytime it's actively growing, then which matures to a kind of a really dark rich green foliage. Looks fantastic. Again, really super compact habit. These can reach three to four feet in height by something like two to three feet in width uh, or maintainable. Let's say it's maintainable at that size. It will get slightly bigger than that uh, over time uh, with a moderate to slow growth rate. I really love plants that build anticipation and this uh, Japanese Pieris definitely fits that. Uh, toward the end of summer into fall, they form these racemes, which is just a word that means a uh, a little stalk where the flowers are kind of equally spaced along, along it, and they hang down off of it through the fall and through the early winter. And then as the soil temperature starts to warm up, this has been blooming in February, sometimes a little later than that, just depending on the winter we're having. These bell-shaped, pendulous flowers open up uh, along it, and then they're, they're fragrant and very, very showy. I mean, there are very few things that are as showy as this. We've passed peak color on this because we wanted to start to show some of the new growth coming out on it. So we didn't film it at, at total peak flower because we're, we're, now you can get this combo where we'll have the flowers and we'll have this beautiful new growth coming on it. These are best in, you'll see shade or part shade. Uh, I think part shade is kind of ideal. I think I would like to get some direct light on it. A deep shade, it'll probably stretch some, probably not have as many flowers. Uh, as this one uh, has and has had uh, for the last uh, couple of weeks, but um, really, really incredibly showy. These are hardy in zone four to eight. Again, this one was picked uh, for heat tolerance, but they're also incredibly cold tolerant. Not a lot of leafy evergreen shrubs can grow up in zone four and five, so definitely these uh, uh, Pieris would be near the top of my list um, in those colder zones. There's a ton of uses uh, in the landscape for uh, these Japanese Pieris, uh, you know, because they're always do, they're always doing something uh, throughout the season. Great mass planted in a part shade area. Uh, we tend to in our garden here in Raleigh be plant collectors, so we've got like one of everything. But these really look great in a group of three or five or seven, where you can really really brighten a kind of a a darker space uh, in the landscape. Also work great. Uh, in containers. These need to be planted a little high and dry. They don't want to sit in, in wet spaces and they become reasonably drought tolerant. Uh, I, I don't want to put it in a wet space. And if it is, you think it's going to be moist, you'll mound it up a bit uh, and then let them dry out between waterings. But do keep an eye on it if it's abnormally dry. We put it in a space back here. The soil's kind of sandy and for the first six or eight months, we were watering this. Uh, we were watering this one quite a bit. It's anchored itself in now and I haven't watered it in 12 months and it looks absolutely fantastic. So it does become drought tolerant in time. One other fantastic use for this uh, mountain snow pieris is a foundation plant on a part shade uh, foundation. These are extremely low maintenance. Again, it was planted, it was left up just a bit so it wouldn't sit, uh, ultimately sit in water. We fertilize everything in this garden in the late winter, early spring with an organic fertilizer. We're keeping the weeds away from it. We've watered it when it needed water, and that's pretty much it. These are deer resistant, uh, rabbit resistant, uh, really great performers in the garden that give you 12 months of interest. This is Mountain Snow Pieris from the Southern Living Plant Collection. <music>